Inflation is accelerating. Prices in the U.S. rose 6.2 percent in the past year, the fastest rate since 1990, and it's emptying U.S. wallets. I just have to be a little tighter with the cash.、Um, there are certain things that I do want to get new that I can't really get new just because the prices are going up.、Um, and there's also scarcity issues. Like I want a new TV, but new TVs are an extra, you know, 50 percent markup right now. Just because of the microchip shortage and inflation on top of that, it, it compounds. Food price, one of the main drivers of inflation, has been rising exponentially since the pandemic started, as production drops abruptly. Vendors are feeling the pinch. We noticed a couple months ago, prices and everything is going up. We don't feel good because you know our the suppliers we had to pay more for for the for the products. And we had to do the same for the customers, and they get mad sometimes because we had to increase the prices. Less people buy, so that's why、um, the profit is going a little less. So it's a, it's more work for us. The profit is a little the same or less. This uncomfortably high inflation isn't here to stay. Economists expect it to gradually come down in about a year and a half from now. Now we are in the. Holiday spending season, people are happy to spend. But、uh, I think if we take out the this seasonal joy of spending and、uh, inflation stays where it is, then we're going to see the negative impact pretty soon. President Biden said that reversing this trend is a top priority for him. Administration and economists expect the rapid inflation to be slow and eventually fade over the next year. Reporting for Pavement Pieces, I'm Pei Yu Zhang.